Hey guys, and uh, as I promised last time, today we're going to take a look at the M Audio Mobile Pre, or Preamp, what I would uh, call it, and everybody would call it that. It's right here. It is really old. If I'm not wrong, this was launched back in 2009. This one was launched in 2009, and it's still holding to this day. And let me put it closer to the camera. Mobile Pre USB M Audio Phantom Power right here the volume up and up, down knobs or gain knobs it has an uh, instrument or a line in here it has headphones out it has the gain level for the headphones gain level for channel two gain level for channel one and channel one is right here channel one uh, channel one is right here channel two is right here and their xlr line or instrument input here stereo microphone input is right here outputs are one and two right here and you have the stereo line output and here's the usb input and on the bottom of it does not actually see anything else except for this m audio stuff that you are probably seeing right here and there is absolutely nothing else with it but it has been working so good for so many years and uh, i know a lot of you are saying that it doesn't work on windows 10 when you plug it in because m audio discontinued it they don't even make this one anymore so you can only find it online and good luck finding the drivers well lucky for me i had the driver believe it or not on a cd yes i had a cd burned back then and i had to dig and find it but i have the drivers and it still says windows 7 but it was a 64-bit version and they actually worked on windows 10 and yes i dug around and i found a website that still has that driver so you guys can go get it for yourself too and here's this website that you see right now on the screen uh, i will leave a link in the description to this site you have the mac, uh, mac drivers right here if you scroll down you will find the windows drivers and yes the last update is this one right here in december 2000 november 2009 and this is the one that i downloaded you just click on it you start downloading it i already have it at first when you plug it in it might give you some kind of error sign or at the end of the installation a small error just click OK on it. Don't worry about it. And click Finish Installation. And you should be good to go. Now, keep in mind, in some Windows 10 versions, I heard that it's doing some kind of disconnection sometimes. But in my case, I tried it in different computers. The only disconnection that I had with it was due to the USB being faulty. That's all. If the USB is good and solid, it should work really well. Now, let's plug it into the computer and see where we are going with it. It's right here. Boom. And yes, it is connected. And as you see, this is what I was saying. This error that you see right here, I, in my case, I just disregard it and it works really good. Now, let me uh, plug something to the device so we can actually test it. But before we go any further with testing, the reason I like this so much is that what you can in insert on it starting from a guitar keyboard dj set whatever you have that has an xlr or three and a half or regular jack it can be plugged in and yes you can buy one of these uh adapters so you can plug in your regular headphones jack on it and if you want to you can plug it here at the outputs just like that most of the time it will be one side mono but if you want to plug it as a uh, regular headphones that i have here you would plug it right here on the front and now your headphones are ready to go now besides that you can plug other microphones that are not xlr just for example like this cheapo one here walmart special you can plug it here on the back of it right here where it says stereo microphone input you plug this one here and now you have a microphone plug to this device and if you want to have conversions and converters to put regular microphones on xlrs for example let's say you you like to put it on xlr you buy one of these it's xlr it's a regular uh, female jack you plug in the xlr here on the channel for example and you plug the microphone right here and now you should technically have a microphone working and in my opinion they work pretty good and uh, but besides that 
we have more stuff going on. And now for the start of the show here, as you see here, I have phantom power turned on. And this uh, blue one is just regular power. If you have a microphone that does not need phantom power or 48 volts, you just turn it off. In my case, I like to leave it on because the microphone we're going to use today is the one that is from the last video and it will be this Morantz. now i can connect any of these i have an electro voice but i'm not gonna do that right now we're just gonna go with a Morantz. it's a really nice microphone i have only a few miles of xlr cable here <laughs> and we're gonna go with a channel one right here we're gonna turn the microphone on super cardioid and turn the microphone towards myself right here and as you see you should see a light right here when you talk to the microphone for example you will see a light right there as you see when i'm talking to the microphone there is lights here and if I'm too loud, you will see the clip. That's a cutoff that the sound is going too high. And with that said, let's jump into uh, OBS and see that it actually is recognized on OBS and it works. Right here, you have your uh, microphones and you just have to go and find where it, said, where it says M Audio. And as you see right here, line one and two, M Audio. And after you click M Audio, Right now you're hearing my voice from this microphone right here, and I hope it sounds really good. And yes, this is gonna be your level right here, for example, for this channel. Let me put it low so you guys can hear my voice going down slowly. And, and now if I go up, it keeps going up slowly as I turn the knob, and you hear my voice going up. Usually I don't wanna go to the point that it starts clipping. I leave it just before it touches yellow, not even on the red. So with that said, I hope you learned something from this video and if you have one of these devices, now you have a link on the description below to install the driver on your uh, Windows 10 computer and connect it to your OBS or whatever uh, recording software you would like to use. And I hope you hit like and subscribe in this video and we will see you next time. Bye!